In Godot, you can build and edit levels like this. You can run the game, make a change in the scene, it gets replicated in real time. This goes beyond modifying your levels because you can also synchronize scripts. So you can add behavior to your character and it will affect the game too. Let's just start with script syncing. When it's on, whenever you modify a script and save a file while the game is running, it will get reloaded. If we try out the game, the character has one problem, it moves faster when it's going in diagonal lines. The reason is the direction vector is not normalized. If I add it, save, now the character will move at the right speed when it's moving diagonally. When you make changes to the member variables, the constant get updated. However, the member variables, they don't seem to affect the game. For example, I set the max speed to a low value when I launched the game, and now I just edited it. Even though I modified it, the character is still moving at a slow pace. I'll have to reload the game for the change to take effect. The reason is that the variables have a value that's stored in memory. They are already initialized when you reload the script. Let's say you do want to modify these variables when playing the game. Well, you can do that. You'll have to export them for them to be available in the editor. And then we won't use the sync script changes, but instead the sync scene changes. Let's head back to the editor. At the top of the inspector, I get the acceleration and deceleration on the player. Trying out the game now, the character has a good acceleration. Now if I set it to a low value, even without saving the scene, the character now has a very low acceleration. This goes beyond modifying values in the inspector only. You can edit an animation and it will sync in the game. It's an extremely useful feature to work faster when you are building the game. You don't need to add sliders to the view or anything. You just modify it in the inspector, in the script. If your character has issues, you fix the behavior, save, and you can test at the same time. If you can, I'd recommend working with two screens and use a gamepad to try out the game. So you can use the keyboard, keep the focus on the script, make the changes, then try out the changes with the gamepad.